Hello my friends, welcome to another tasty little knitting tutorial. I am going to show you how to make this super simple diagonal lazy scarf today. It looks like a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun and then depending on the yarn that you use, it's you know it's just gorgeous for as simple as it is this one is definitely a winner no matter if you are a total beginner or if you are more experienced so this specific yarn that i'm using it looks like this um, even though it says you know use us size six needle i use a size 10 needle um, and it's definitely thick enough with this specific pattern. So if you're gonna make this scarf and you know, think about maybe using a needle that is one to two size bigger than what your yarn tells you to do so. Um, this one is 70% uh, merino wool and 30% soybean. Uh, so it's a very interesting uh, texture. It's 131 yards, so I use two skeins to make this scarf. Um, this is for my daughter's little friend. Well, she's 12, she's gonna be 12. So this is not an adult size, okay? So this is a kid size. And I use two skeins of this and I cast it on 33 stitches. So you can make it as big, small, long, or short as you want to. I'm going to make a slightly smaller version today for my five-year-old daughter. So for this specific pattern, you want to cast on an odd number of stitches. So for my five-year-old today, I'm going to cast on 21 stitches today. So one of the things about this pattern uh, or the edges on this scarf, I use um, a stitch that I'm going to show you today that creates this gorgeous border on the outside. And since it's a scarf and you know the edges uh, do show, um, I just really love using this uh, method and it doesn't really take that much more uh, work. So follow me along and you'll have it down in a swift, okay? So this is a two row repeat, um, this pattern, but I am starting out with a garter stitch. I'm going to start out with a little border of garter stitch, just as you see right here. And to create the garter stitch, all you're gonna do is knit every single row, and that creates your garter stitch. So I'm going to knit a second row, knit all the way across. And here I did four rows of knitting to create this size border. Um, but since I'm doing a smaller scarf version for my five-year-old, I'm just going to do two rows of garter stitch. Okay, row number one. So to create the border, I am going to purl my first stitch and then I'm going to knit three. One, two, three. And here's the pattern repeat. Yarn over. So you're creating a stitch and knit two together. So you're creating a stitch and you're decreasing a stitch and the yarn over it's what's going to give it these little holes okay so yarn over knit two together and that's there is all to to the pattern yarn over and knit two together so we're going to do that until the last three stitches of our row Okay, so we're here down to our last three stitches. I'm going to knit two. And then I'm not going to knit the last stitch. Okay, I'm leaving my long yarn in the back and I'm just going to slip the last stitch. 
So this is row number two and you can see here how I didn't knit the last stitch. So what you want to do is you're going to purl this stitch. By not knitting it on the other side and by purling it on this side, you're going to create this beautiful finish on the outside. Okay, if you don't care what your edge looked like, then just knit your edge stitch. But in my situation, I purl the first stitch and I do not knit the last stitch. So I purled my first stitch and I knit two. That's my border. And then this is row number two. You will purl all the way across and that includes the yarn over that you create on the other row. Just purl, purl, purl the yarn over, purl your knit two together all the way across until the last three stitches. Down to my last three stitches, I'm going to knit two and then I'm not going to knit my last stitch, but I'm just going to slip it. And that is our two row repeat for this cute little scarf pattern. I'm just gonna go over the rows with you one more time. So purl the first stitch to create the beautiful edge. Then your border. On row number one, you would do knit three. And then yarn over and then knit two together. yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, all the way until the last three stitches again. Last three stitches I'm going to knit two and not knit the last stitch. So that was row number one in our pattern repeat. Row number two, purl your edge stitch, then knit two, and then purl all the way across until the last three stitches. If you have any questions or need help on this pattern, just leave me a comment. I love to hear from you and help you with whatever needs you have. Knit the two, and then don't knit the edge stitch. So you just keep going. It's just a two row repeat and it comes out with this really fun pattern and it's great for uh, a scarf. Here you can see the two row of garter stitch and here you can see the border and you can start seeing, you know, the nice looking edge here. So I'm gonna knit this for as long as my daughter would like it and then I'm gonna finish off with two rows of garter stitch as well and then just cast off. So very simple, very cool pattern. Uh, you can use it for a lot of projects um, but because it creates this very interesting diagonal after you've done a few rows um, it makes a very interesting scarf. So I hope you give this a try. If you have any questions you know let me know, comment below uh, give me a thumbs up if you learned something today. Uh, don't forget to send me some love, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. Thanks so much guys. See you next time.